hey you guys so thanks for coming to check out today's video this video is super exciting um, I've been wanting to do a Game of Thrones um, type of video for probably ever since the show has been out and I've been watching it so um, today was a day where I actually had a blonde wig and I could do a Daenerys look so I decided to go ahead and do one so big shout out to Bobby Boss. Thank you for sending over your new Raka wig in 613B. It was the perfect color, perfect length, and perfect waves to have a Daenerys Targaryen look. So thank you so much Bobby Boss. Um, and yeah, so let me tell you guys a little bit about how I got this look. So what I did was split the hair in half just at the top. And then I split it into two sections on a diagonal curve away from the part. So I went ahead and did a straight braid going straight down on the side, which is right by the ear tab of the wig. Then I went ahead and did a diagonal braid going straight down to the back. And I put a rubber band on the end of it and then I just separated the braid out. Now the reason why I separated the braid um, really wide and gave it like that butterfly look was because the this wig is not a full lace wig. It's a synthetic wig that only has a lace part. So there are tracks in this wig. So you have to cover up the wefts or the tracks that the wig has on it. So you have to separate the braids to give yourself more coverage over the tracks. So this section is the second braid that I braided and I'm putting that one in a diagonal all the way across. So it's crossing over that halfway point in the middle of the head. And I pushed some hair over to the side and pinned that away because that is the part of the hair that is going to actually cross over this braid in the back. I know it doesn't make sense right now but you'll see it in a second what I'm trying to explain. So as this, as I said, that braid went over more than half way through the head. So you can see that that hair is overlapping over the braid. So if you want to get this crisscross braid effect, you have to braid that braid further than halfway. So then you go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. But the only difference now is that small braid um, at the bottom, you're going to have to braid it and cross it all the way across the other two braids and then you're gonna have to grab a little piece of hair from the wig and go ahead and braid it into that braid so that that braid will stay where it's put and then go ahead and put a rubber band on it and again fan the braid out to give you more coverage where the tracks are um, I hope this makes sense if it doesn't just leave me a comment down below and I'll try my best to explain it in words in the information box so then you're going to go ahead and braid that last braid and um, then I'm going to show you how you're going to make it overlap over top of the braid that you braided on the other side. So here is where you're going to grab a little bit of hair um, and you're going to do the same thing that you did on the other side. Just grab a little bit of hair from underneath and then just put a rubber band and that basically keeps that braid in place again you can see that some of the tracks are showing so you want to fan out that braid so that it's covering the tracks and if it's not covering well enough just keep expanding the braid making it a bigger butterfly braid and it will cover so this is how you kind of get that um, patchwork type look with the braids make sure you keep some hair out in the front for your baby hairs and for the little um, curls that come out of the braid Daenerys always has curls that come out of the braid in the front of her hair. So let's go ahead and move on to the makeup. Now the makeup was definitely the easiest part of this process. <laughs> the braids were definitely the, the challenge but the, the uh, makeup is super duper easy. Um, if you guys watch Game of Thrones and you're a fan of the show then you know there is no um, makeup look that is like at all complicated in the show. It's very natural. It's very neutral looks. So I definitely kept the makeup very, very natural and neutral. 
I did absolutely no contour and I did just the slightest bit of highlight and I didn't do the bright highlight that I normally do this is actually my makeup revolution in two shades darker than I normally use it on my face I went ahead and grabbed my Maybelline um, loose powder this is the powder I always use and this one is in number 10 light and I just went ahead and um, put the powder all in the areas that I normally do on my chin, the side of my face, under my nose, down my nose, my forehead, and under my eyes. I'm also wearing um, colored contacts today. I know Daenerys eyes are, are blue, but the closest that I had today was green. So I went ahead and used my green color contacts and these contacts are from Sue Care. So I'll leave a link and a promo code you can use um, the code JESS10 and it will save you some money at checkout when you go ahead and order your colored contacts. So the eyeshadow palette I use today is the Oldie But Goodie. It is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Chocolate Bar Palette in Semi Sweet. And I used three different shades. Um, I'll leave a... a um, I'll leave the shades that I use in the information bar. I can't remember what they are right now, but I'll leave them in the information bar down below so you know which three shades. But this is a very, very simple eye look, you guys. Um, like I said, the makeup looks on Game of Thrones are very, very simple, and I definitely wanted to keep it that way. So um, I decided to go ahead and use black mascara. I wish I had had brown, but I don't have brown mascara, so I just used what I had. But if you're going to do this look, I would definitely suggest brown mascara. It will have a less harsh look. Um, and then I just used a little bit at the top as well. No false lashes. They do not wear false season Game of Thrones. So I decided to just go with my regular lashes and um, no blush. I decided to just use a little bit of my contour powder on my cheeks and that was all that I used. Now um, I added a little tiny bit of highlight but it's almost to the point where you can't see it because I really didn't want it to be bold. Then I just went ahead with my Ruby Kisses liquid lipstick in color Dune and I put it in the center of my lips and then I just smeared it together and then I went ahead and just used my fingertip to take it away around the outer edge of my lip just to give me like a pinkish nudish type of lip in the center and then nothing around the outside edge. So this is the what my face ended up looking like. Now let's go ahead and try on the wig. So you guys, when I put the wig on, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I wasn't sure if the tracks would start showing or if the wig would fit. I just had no clue what was going to happen. But you guys, I was very pleasantly surprised. I did a good job um, working the braids and, you know, making sure that none of the tracks were showing. So now all I had to do was go ahead and lay down my baby hairs. So I just used my favorite edge control, Ebon Edge Control. There'll be a link down below where you can order some of this if you like it um, off of Amazon. And then I used my Glee Made Baby Hair Scarf. This is my favorite product of all time. It helps me to lay down my lace front wigs and my baby hairs and it's the best and it's only $8. So check in the information box for the link for that and you can also use the code DRAGONESS to save you some money on your baby hair scarf as well so you guys this is the finished look i was feeling very daenerys mother of dragons i was loving it i'm so excited that the show is coming back on tonight at nine o'clock do you guys watch game of thrones i do i love it i love that daenerys is the mother of dragons i call myself the mother of dragons she has three dragons i have three baby dragons <laughs> So I, I just feel like we're connected, you know. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of this look. Thank you so much for watching. Please share, 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 and subscribe. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. Love you guys. Bye.